I think today's the first winter day we've had all year. No signs of a blue sky, no sign of a sun. Overcast and gloomy, and the temps just got to 62. It's freezing out here. By the title of today's video, you guys know exactly where we're going right now, and I cannot wait to see it in person. Fix your hair, dog. Make sure it's all combed over how you like before we show it. If you're reading this, it's too late. Okay, all right, that's not a good meme. <laughs> Here it is, boys. I have to give credit where credit is due because all the credit right now is lying on Oscar and the team at SOS because they did such a phenomenal job. Even in camera right now, you can barely see. It's wet. <laughs> you can barely even tell that it's a separate fender. The paint match is phenomenal to begin with, but just the way that it blends together when you don't have the hardware showing. Even like, like I like the little stuff. Look at the little wine down there. It just, it just flows in with the fender. It right here, flows. like it's just, it's so nice and crisp. I don't know. Lines with the way, I mean this kid. Like it's so good. It looks like it could come like this from Chevy. Also too, just these body lines and also the way that now that this is painted and isn't two separate colors, this looks like just another edge, like this right here. The way you look at it from the camera, it doesn't even look like it's two separate pieces. Like it looks all one piece. I don't know how else to describe it. So obviously we still need to like trim those other sides, but with the front splitter, so obviously you can get it in FRP, and when you have it in FRP, you can either choose to paint it the same color as the car, you could paint it black, but then if you do the carbon, that whole like bottom lip right here would all be in carbon. But just seeing it like this is... I don't know, I don't, I don't think it needs a carbon lip, man. It, I think it looks good like I that. mean, it looks great. I'm definitely gonna run the carbon lip, but it looks so much better than I thought it would. It looks it, so it much looks better. Like Ending job project this one. It was just yeah, like yeah. I think it took way longer, but I think the results speak for themselves Everything looks good now you people can kind of see the match of the bone arrow in the back to the new like bone arrow in the front Like that looks so good. It looks like it flows It's the first kit that like flows and extends off the body, which was the biggest goal for this whole entire kit. Now again, this will be a carbon option as well, but if you do full FRP and don't opt in for the carbon, you can either paint that the same color as the car, or what we would, I mean obviously because we did it, you'd paint it black so it matches the vent in the rear. Now we don't have the wing on right now, and we don't have the rear diffuser, which probably next week, we'll probably get an update on that, but just seeing this kit, the way it sits right now, painted, it's is... Good. You're gonna need some wheels for this, man. Look at this, you can just... You could literally hide inside the fender. Oh my God, and we haven't even cut them yet. When you cut, you'll be able to put your head deeper in like the Deep pocket. Dishes. Deep, Deep yeah, you're probably gonna run like, honestly, like 13 Fif inch. 15? <laughs> Depending on what type of style you're going for, I mean, I'm probably gonna run like 13, 14 inch wheels on this setup, which is gonna be close to like probably like a high 300s tire to make this work, which is kind of incredible to think about. So we have stock wheels here, and I brought a bunch of spacers that I think will fit on this, because I know a lot of you guys want to see it on the ground with wheels and it not being like a you know really really wacky spacecraft hovercraft fitment. But as all body kits start out, they all start out with that ugly whack fitment until wheels are made for it. I'm gonna bring in the spacers and we'll see how, we'll just see if it's the right size. So these spacers are for BMW, but from the research that we did, this should be the same bolt pattern as a BMW. Oh, I just realized that these are, uh... oh no. We're gonna have to get uh, some lugs. Some like tuner lugs or something. Oh, I totally didn't realize that BMW was bolts and these are lugs. Well, no, no point in even doing this because now it's not gonna work. You don't think it'll work? We'll get some like a uh, tuner belt. I mean, if you have any, I don't. I can get some, uh... Oh, it fits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, if you have spares or like a spare set of them, I I don't. But we were gonna for the just for the photo. I can uh, order some from O'Reilly's. Oh, like doubles. Gonna... You're crazy, man. Nah. Yeah. That's still not even enough. But it might be enough. Dude, we needed like six inches, I thought. No, I think this, I think that with plus the wheels, a little bit more aggressive, right? Yeah, I don't know about that. Spacers oh were a fail. I didn't realize that the BMW uses bolts to thread in, and this is using 
lugs. Different applications and they won't mix. There's no way you could throw that on that. You're gonna try and sit it down on that? So if we had the actual hardware, that's about where this wheel would sit. Dude, it would actually be pretty on point. On a certain angle, that would actually work. Of course, stock wheels don't look very good on a kit like this, but some deep dish wheels would look baller, or it's a set of like custom TEs. That would look insane too. Oscar had other customers starting to come in, so we didn't have much more time together, but the kit looks so good, bro. What? I can't wait for the wing, I can't wait for the diffuser, I can't wait till we actually have wheels made for the car, then we still have to cut it. There's still a lot of work to do, so I think some of you guys are gonna be questioning, hey, when does it actually come out? We're a much smaller team, and we're really taking our time with this project specifically, so we're getting there. Now we have to make molds from those final pieces, and then we could bring my car in and start cutting it up and all that type of stuff. So probably, honestly, like another month or two before they are actually finished and on like my car and completed and all that type of stuff. But hey, we're making progress and that's what counts. This is what my life consists of. No, no, no. <laughs> this is my life these days. Yeah, like I want one from like, like I want that pool to be the main Jeez, thing. Brianna, get your fucking ass out of here. I'm gonna have to blur that. All right. <laughs> I have, I have to put a black screen over all of this. We are at the house again because we want to utilize the hot tub and because my body is terribly sore from going and playing hockey for Magna Flow the other day. So we're using the hot tub and also we wanted to show the boys like the backyard while it was bright out. Once again, I'm not going to show you guys much of the house because I still want to keep it a secret. I'm going to let the house tour video probably near the end of Vlogmas be the like tour and walk on of everything. So I'm still going to hold it off for just a little bit. Well, then stop walking in front of the camera. Don't push me in, that would be so mean. I'm not pushing you in, it's just like too foggy, I can't even film. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm not a Oh my gosh. The pool is at 55 degrees. Just jump in, no, no, feel it before. She's just not gonna do it. Oh, oh. my god, oh. oh, it touched my back! Oh, oh. 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 don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Dude. The water splashed me and that was miserable. Oh